the same fallacy, really. We don't need a coding standard. We just need to catch bugs. Um, <laughs> the problem is that you can't catch all bugs. Um, not all bugs are catchable. Um, and this is, this is one, of, one of the fundamental problems of the C language, really. The, the point that's already been made is that bugs are much easier to find in good quality code than they are in bad quality code, which is where coding standards come in. Coding standards exist to improve code quality. And the essence of, of coding rules is, is being preventative, avoiding code constructs which um, leave you open to uh, introducing undefined behavior or some other things. Th this, is, this is one of my favorite ones just recently. <laughs> um, I hope you can all read this at the back, but... Um, this is a very harmless bit of code, perfectly legal. Um, we have a structure containing a pointer to a pointer to char, and we have an if statement that um, is testing whether the uh, string literal that that pointer is pointing to begins with a null byte. Now, unfortunately, that's what the programmer meant to write, but unfortunately, he wrote something slightly different. He forgot the square brackets on the pointer. So what he actually ended up doing was comparing the pointer with a null char. And the wonderful thing about the C, the C language is that that is perfectly legal code to compare a pointer with a null character. The C language in its wisdom decides that a, a, a null character can be used as a null pointer. Um, so um, that is very much an example of the um, C finding a square hole and putting a round peg in it. <laughs> 